Hello, welcome to another video by Moxa Marine. In this video, I'm uh, repairing a Bravo 3 uh, input, I guess you'd call it the input shaft or input drive shaft. Um, I'm repairing the uh, oil seal on the uh, on the drive shaft and the gear. So this gear, this is the spline input shaft that has gears that go into your uh, upper gear housing. And this surface right here is where the seal rides. And um, th that surface had a very deep groove in it where the seal has been riding on it for years. So to repair that, you can either replace the entire drive shaft. I think it's about nine, seven or nine hundred dollars. Um, not sure about that. You can check, but um, this is a Bravo three, by the way. Um, to repair it, you can buy a speedy sleeve. I think it was like 35, 40 bucks. And uh, this particular one is uh, 99,161 for the Bravo three. Um, so that's the part number you need for the Bravo three. And uh, it comes with the, the speedy sleeve, which is just a very thin metal ring that goes on here, and it basically gives you a new surface for the seal to ride on. And then this is the tool that comes with it that you're supposed to use to push the seal on. Well, obviously, this won't work because this the shaft is too long, and the uh, the tool won't fit on there. So um, to solve that problem, I looked around and found some, uh, just happened to find some uh, two-inch PVC pipe in my uh, in my uh, inventory if you want to call it um and so uh what i did was i heated the pipe up over a uh, over a flame and got it soft enough where i could expand it out and i made a driver like this out of this pvc pipe to push that on and so um what it is i had this this uh this axle in the freezer overnight to get it really cold and then i heated this piece up in the uh, in flame based on my gas oven and uh gas stove and uh, got it hot enough to where it didn't turn blue, but I got it hot enough where it just started to change color a little bit. And then uh, I placed it on there, and it didn't get, it didn't just slide on like it, I thought it would. It, it didn't need, it didn't need knocking on. I then took this two inch PVC pipe and set it over top of it, and just kept tapping on the backside here with some vice grips and, and just hammered this uh, hammered the speedy sleeve on. So looks like it did a pretty good job. Um, it's flush all the way around, and uh, I think it's repaired. So. It's now time to uh, take this uh, Bravo 3 input shaft and reassemble all the gears on it, and then uh, we'll go from there. And hopefully we'll repair this uh, repair this input shaft. So um, this is part one. I'll do another part two where I actually put the gears on. But this is how you repair the sleeve surface on a Bravo 3 input shaft. So thanks for watching.